Local storage is fine, but what if we wanted to store a complex object or what the hell even images? Dixie, as you guessed, is a wrapper for IndexedDB, which is itself a database built into the browsers that stores and reads the data directly from device. In this video, you take a look at Dixie's features, use cases, and we learn how to use it in action. But first, it's worth mentioning that we even got a GTA 6 before GTA 6. Oh, don't laugh. Let's try to save an object to local storage. We got object, object. It will do just fine if you stringify it. But then you need to de-stringify it to be able to use it. That will hurt your fingers. There's also a 5 megabyte limit for that. <laughs> With Dixie, we get gigabytes of storage depending on the browser. It's really useful when it comes to storing images, chat histories, and some other stuff in a structured data, because it stores real JavaScript objects. It's asynchronous, unlike local storage, which blocks the main thread. It's a mini database and not just a key value store, so you can query the fuck out of it. But more importantly, it can handle offline scenarios, which is useful for PWAs. Let's stop Dixieing around and have a quick start with it. For this project, we use React. First, create a React with project and install Dixie and Dixie React hooks. Then create a file and name it database or DB in short. In there, import Dixie and create a database. Then define the version and tables. To the tables, we add ID, name, and I don't know, age. Plus plus means it's a auto-incremented primary key. You can also use AND for unique IDs. Because it's 2025, we use TypeScript and define our types. I'm so bored already, so let's quickly go to the app file where we have a naked function. Let's create a form to add stuff to our database. This is where we add the data, and then we... We? Who's we? Show it in a list using use live query hook, which by the way is also useful to query specific results. Finally put them together in the app function. Let's improve the UI to know what the fuck we're doing. To store images, use blobs. Use put function when working with images. Tell me what I missed about Dixie. Links about this Dixie project are in the description. Thanks for watching and have a good day.